this is me pawn right here and in this video i'm gonna be replacing my nbeam.cmp with a new neobeam plugin called blink.cmp it's a new neobeam plugin for the completion around neobeam um it has a lot of features instead of using nbeam.cmp i tried it it's really good it's performant and batteries included it works out of the box and has a lot of sensible features that you might wanna get you'll have to configure a lot of things to get things around in nbeam.cmp for the same thing now what i'm trying to do right now is since i have already configured this as well i'm gonna be removing the configuration that i had that i have with this plugin and do the from scratch so yeah let's get started so let me check this my status or stats that uh, let me find the reviews the time that I had the log that I had uh, CMP configured I think it's this one remove this yeah we can go with this now I think we should have CMP here yeah at this point we, have, we do have CMP um, now let me first remove all of the CMP stuff from my plugins I'm currently using lazy plugin manager and the Lua tables of my plugins are inside Lua plugins and init.lua and here's cmp yeah I'm gonna be removing this and the cmp.lua as well I don't need I don't need that and instead of that I'll be copying the configuration of this plugin simply facing facing here and um, I do want to change a bit here for example lazy it first by by default but I don't want that I want something like uh, if anywhere any LSP service attached to the current buffer I only want this book this plugin to be loaded so for this I'll have to change the event event to LSP attached LSP attached I think this done I, I'm I'm not going to use friend friendly snippets here. Just remove it. Um, now, uh, bracket side auto bracket side. I need that one. And I don't need the signature here. Yeah. Now at this point, if we wait to refresh, refresh the even in sense and restart it should work on the plugin and now we can remove this now see we are replacing this one two three four and five plugins with this this one plugin right got that now if i wait to check we do have ls3 right we do um, yeah by default they have this uh, control Z and control T to navigate around this completion menu but I don't want that I want something like control uh, control P and control N so I'm gonna be changing that if you go to this default configuration section you will get this and you can change whatever the value you like now inside key mass uh, I do want to change this Side offs, yeah. Here, um, wait, um, um, to show I don't think control this is okay, and to hide, I'm gonna be using control D, and to accept, I'm gonna be using enter, I mean, share, and to select previous, I'm gonna be using control P, and for the next, I'm gonna be using control N. This is okay, the default one is right. Snippets backward and forward. Okay, that's good. Now I used to have boulders around the menus, the composition menus. I do want that as well, which can be configured from. I think there should be a Windows section. Yeah, inside Windows we do have this um, called boulders. We can change this to something like single or double to accept accept the value. Uh, so yep. Inside Windows, Set 
key map and for the highlights it's here okay. Um, we can, I think we can do the window section from here, windows. Wait, okay, let's copy this. Inside windows, yep. How to complete, uh, this border equals to none. We can change this to something like single. Um, inside document, documents, documentation, we do have this. Uh, yeah. Oops. Documents. Here is as well. Uh, we do have this border is added by default. I'm gonna be changing this to this as well to single now at this point this should work yeah uh, let me try format this yeah it's works yeah we do have the bogus as well uh, I guess that's it for this video guys, um, if you find this plugin makes you to um, start this, it's really good, the developer is really good and if you like the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.